What's up guys, this is Elliot from MMT here with Ninja. Hi guys. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick video on uh, the grip techniques. We're gonna get a grip, hey? Um, you might have seen some of my videos there where I've been pinching like the triceps and the lats there. There's been something I've been working on this last year. Um, it's not something that you can easily dive into. You gotta build up your tolerance and strength. Um, but I've been exploring other parts of the body. So today we're gonna look at um, how we can attack uh, the adductor group uh, and the hamstrings using that same technique there. So we've Ninja's done some some yep. deadlifts and some squats on a, a Monday. And so we're gonna see what the effect of that has been. So what you do is you get in there first, don't just crush it straight away. You wanna kind of get the contour. So through the skin, apply a bit of pressure right there and get it in a uh, picture in your mind as to what the shape of those muscles are gonna be. And that gives you an idea of where you wanna work into. So uh, we're not trying to pinch your skin there. We're trying to grip onto those muscles nice and deep. Try not to let them slip out of our fingers and apply that that vice sort of pressure. Yeah, and so I can start to feel some of these areas here Whoa. where we want to get into. And if we're lucky, we might see, well, that's a flick, but we might see some twitchy boys as well. So we saw that this morning with some of our triceps. Oh, it's good in there. Pinches. I wasn't feeling too bad either. <laughs> like I normally got more doms in the, the big uh, Magnus. After the deep squats we do, hit some hard, yeah. So let us know if it gets too pinchy for you. Well, for the greater good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the release that we're getting here is that the muscle itself is clenched up and it's starting to stick to its neighbors as well. So we're trying to get it to unclench, unstick, and yeah, it takes a bit of force through my fingers there. So if you're watching there, you try to grab any part of your body and squeeze for some period of time there, you're gonna to start to feel some fatigue in your hands there. So it takes a bit of time to build that up, but once you get it, it's quite a useful tool. So we're not just crushing the spot there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab it and almost traction and pull it out this way. So um, give it a bit of a stretch like that. And there we go, get some good, good sensations there. I can feel between my fingers where it needs a bit of freeing up. And just think about this kind of logically, like we, we're doing lots of pinning on one side of a muscle, but you think about if there's tension and scarring or whatever in a section, it's 3D, it's not just mm. there. So we can kind of grab it, like I say that's like that, and then we can crush, crush it in a way, and yep. we can hit, melt these, from different angles, so, right. the, so just a different technique in order to be more thorough. Sometimes you might need to hit the backside of a muscle, which you're not kind of able to get to by just pinning and crushing in one, one direction, one Definitely. vector. Definitely, and if you're like a budding body worker, this is a great technique, not just to build your hand strength and, and endurance, but also to build that sensitivity to uh, what the fibers feel like underneath your fingers. So ha have a bit of patience with yourself. Don't cook your fingers, because if you do that, if you start to get to a point where they're fatigued, your brain can't sense what's going on. So keep it at a pressure that's below that fatigue point, just so you can get a sense first. Um, don't just go full ham, because um, what you want to do is sense where those areas are thicker and more uh, bound up, and then you can be more effective. You know, the, you only got so much fuel in your hands there, so make a count when you're in there. Let's provide a bit of length there to see if we can feel for any bits that stick out a bit more. Make sure you keep your nails cut as well, so that way it reduces the discomfort on the person. Here Claw marks on you, doctors. I've just been squirming up the whole time. <laughs> up in here there so most people will recognize this is the hamstring area there but you've got the old magnus too <laughs> dear oh dear got this one here ready for this oh! <laughs> that's how he's feeling right now <laughs> although homer's got a few more hairs than you <laughs> homer's a bit more successful than me i reckon <laughs> he's better known Think about that, he's got like, what was that, three kids, dog, 
cat, uh, wife. two story house, wife, <laughs> job, yeah. you know, works in a nuclear power plant. It's in his 37th season as well. <laughs> so that's got to be the longest ever running TV show, let alone. Before I was born. Cartoon. Before you were born. Yeah. Young fella. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I was raised on The Simpsons as well. <laughs> so Bart's older than you. Yep. <laughs> Can't even Maggie. <laughs> oh. So yeah, you can really have a have a go, just searching around. Just be careful that you don't sl slide off too much because it can be quite uncomfortable for, for your client there. And just dig into all of that. But yeah, look after your hands when you do that. Yeah, get in there, find some sticky bits, release them, get some flow happening, get the blood flow moving into that area there, fix some pain. That's it, you might be a master like this bloke one day. <laughs> get a grip on get life. A grip. Yeah, grip, important word to ponder. You know, hanging and things like that. Yeah, what does grip mean? Yeah, yeah you got a secure grip or you're slipping, <laughs> sliding, letting go. <laughs> Yeah, that's where the magic is. All right, it. get to it. Yeah. Done. Done. Well done, man.